well, gee, I wish I had known this before I'd had my teeth pulled, because uh, if I had, I might have gone a different route with this entirely. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today is the, it, 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 this is an update to my denture journey. <laughs> Um, I've been reading some literature online about dentures and, you know, how long you have to go before they'll do a reline, whether it be a soft reline, a hard reline, or at some point down the road, five, ten years, whatever, you get a whole new set of dentures fitted. You know, you go through the whole process of impressions and all that all over again for a whole brand new set. So I've not been wearing my dentures at all for quite some time now because they don't fit, as I explained in a previous video. Um, and I am completely and utterly disappointed with my insurance. Um, I figured I had to wait six months. So technically, I thought I would be due for a reline next month. Um, so out of curiosity, I went ahead and called my dentist and spoke with the woman who answered and asked, hey, when am I eligible for a reline? And she says, let me go look into that real quick. And she put me on hold. Got to listen to this garbage music, which they all have. So anyway, after a few minutes, she gets back on the phone and she says to me, according to your insurance, you're not due for a reline for four years. And I was like, what? Four years? I can't get a reline through my insurance for four years? Are you out of your fucking mind? I, I didn't say that part, but, you know, I got my point across. And it's like, okay, so what do I do with my dentures then? I've got two choices as I see it. I either just let them sit in that little container of water in the bathroom or I throw them the fuck away. Because why? I mean, if I have to go without them for four years, I might as well just throw the fuckers in the garbage. I can already eat most foods now, anyway, without my damn dentures. So, fuck it, right? I'm not vain. I don't give a shit if you know I have fake teeth or not. As long as I can fucking eat, I'm not starving, like I said before. I'm doing good, but... It's upsetting that my insurance company's like, oh no, you're not going to be eligible for a rewind for four years. Oh, so my dentures are completely and utterly useless for the next four years? Is that what you're telling me? So, I've already made contact with DentureFit, and they're having a sale right now. So a full set for upper and lower dentures, like $79. That's three applicators or three applications for the upper and two applications for the lower. I may not need to use all of it, but it's on sale right now for $79. I'm trying to see if it's in my budget. Also, I did schedule an appointment for tomorrow. My dentist office said, well, why don't we put you in for 12 o'clock Monday? And we'll see if we can do something in-house to help you. And I'm like, eh, okay. And then after I got off the phone, marked that appointment on the calendar, I started thinking to myself, what if this in-house whatever is going to cost me money out of pocket? <laughs> I don't have any money. That's why I called to see when I was eligible for the insurance to pay for it. And then you tell me four years. Oh, so I'm going to go to this appointment tomorrow and see what they have in mind. I can't afford 
anything at all right now. Now, in all fairness, I simply asked when I was eligible for a reline. I did not specify soft or hard. Hard reline? Okay, that's done with acrylic. Yeah, I can see that being 40 years from now. But what about a soft reline? That's just silicone. I mean, she works at the dentist office. She must know the difference between a soft and a hard reline. But we came up with four years for a reline. Maybe I should have been a little bit more specific. But I'll go tomorrow and see what they have in mind. And if it's coming out of my pocket, eh, well, I'm just going to walk out. I mean, I'm really, I'm really truly upset because right now the aftercare for my dental procedure here. Like I said in a previous video, it's a drag strip right outside my window. Uh, but the aftercare that my insurance provides sucks ass. I don't know if I've mentioned my insurance company's name in a previous video or not, but I think I'll keep their name out of this because there might be haters that might, I don't know, have some bad things to say to them, which... I might be inclined to encourage because that's ridiculous. <laughs> if if I can keep my wits about me, <laughs> I'll probably ask tomorrow. Can we reach? Well, actually, my wife is going to call the insurance company tomorrow because with the current state of affairs with the beer bug going on, I'm the only one that can go. And it's pretty much the same with any doctor's appointment. You know, if I take my wife to one, I end up sitting in the vehicle because they won't even let me in the building. Because, yeah, that makes me mad. Oh, and since we're on the subject, and this is my vlog, we went out and we purchased these masks. It's a cloth style mask. It's got the little metal thing up here so you can fit it to your nose. And it has a vent right there. And then all the way across the inside of this, it has a filter, which I can remove and replace. Uh, and these are the filters that go in it. Uh, it's like a three-layer filter, PM 2.5. I forget what all it blocks, but um, it has a filter. And the filter is actually right behind this vent, right? So when I wear the mask, I can actually breathe in fresh air. Which initially they gave us some cloth masks, which since I have asthma, rebreathing that carbon dioxide really does a number on me. So we bought these. So I took my stepson to a doctor's appointment at a ProMedica facility and I walked in with this mask and they said that the CDC said that these masks are not acceptable. I'm like, what? Yet my stepson, who was merely wearing nothing but a cloth mask, which filters absolutely nothing, he was perfectly fine to enter their building. Okay, let me wrap my head around that. His mask, <clears throat> which filters absolutely nothing, is perfectly acceptable. Yet mine, with a filter, that filters air coming in and air going out, is not, according to the CDC. <clears throat> well, here's a little news for you, CDC dumb fucks. My experience in the military with masks versus chem warfare begs to differ with your opinion because that's what what that is an opinion it's not based on solid fact i guarantee that my mask with a filter is way more effective than just a piece of cloth over your damn face you idiots so yeah i figured i might as well vent about that too
And I even thought about going out and buying a painter's mask with the twin filters on them and try and walk up in there and, and let them tell me, oh, no, that's a little acceptable. Dude, this mask blocks a fart. Okay? <laughs> I can't smell your stinky ass with this because it's, it's all being filtered out. So I guarantee I'm getting no beer bug through these filters either. Because if you can smell it, you can get it. At least that's what common sense dictates. You know, if I can smell food through this mask, or if I can smell your stanky ass fart, then beer bug can get through too. And it's pretty much a lot smaller than those um, aroma molecules, I'm sure. But... Personally, I feel my filtered mask offers more protection than that cloth mask my stepson was wearing. So I think the CDC is full of shit. And this being told to me by a dude who's wearing a surgical mask, which is only good in a sterile environment. So, huh, your mask ain't fucking protecting you. My mask is offering me more protection than even your mask, you dumb fuck. I don't give a fuck if he's in the medical field. They're all fucking stupid. I'm sorry, it's a scamdemic is what it is. It's being used to take away your rights. But you know what? I'm going to quit talking. This was just to let you know what's going on with my dentures and how my insurance company is not exactly helping me. So I'm, I'm serious. If I can't get something done, because without a reline, I can't wear them. The adhesive won't stay because liquids and food can get all up underneath my dentures and wipe it all away and they just, and they're done. So I would just be wasting the adhesive to get maybe an hour's worth of dentures in my face without, you know, falling. Because I remember I said in a previous video, I put my dentures in with adhesive one morning, we took off. By the time I got home, there was a little spot of adhesive left in the bottom denture. And that was the only thing keeping the denture in. All the rest of that adhesive was gone. Well, it's worse now. I mean, it's the gap between my gum and the dentures is so great now that it's, it takes about an hour to wash away the adhesive. An hour. So I'm going to find out what's going on tomorrow. That doesn't pan out. Looks like Denture Fit's going to get some money. And then I'm going to be looking at some videos for the proper application, which they do have on their website. They show you how to apply it to your denture. So here's hoping to good things. But right now I just don't feel so great because four years is a long time to go without eating real food. But anyway, until the next one, folks, I hope it's a better one than this one. But until then, peace.